This is the Myers Square, which I have redrawn myself to be able to train with a two-handed axe for armored fighting. So I'll first explain what a Myers Square is and exactly why I had to redraw it into this chart right here. So if you do duels in armor, in armored combat, boot hurt, you never heard of a Myers Square and you're training for one-on-one -on -one duels, I suggest you look it up. It's a fantastic exercise. Actually, you could pause the screen right here and use this at home if you need to. <laughs> or you can draw one yourself. So this is how a Myers square works. You cut in order from one to four. You start with the outside numbers and you work your way in. I colored them so it's easier to see because it can be hard if all the numbers are, are the same color. So what you do, I'm gonna cut from one to two. There's two, then three, four. Now we're in the blue. One, two, three, four. Now the red. One, two, three, four. And the purple. One, two, three, four. Repeat. One, two three, four, on, and so on. Those are like the master cuts, the opening cuts for longsword. Now, the reason this works with a longsword is this. When you have your grip with a longsword, you're gonna have your arms, your hands close together, right? So when you're cutting a Meyer square with a longsword, one, two, three, four, right? One, two. So your, your grip is this. With a longsword, you can do all kinds of things because your hands here, right, are so close together. With a two-handed axe, this is your grip. Try and do a Myers square with a two-handed axe. One, two, three, four, right? It just doesn't work. With this two-handed axe, I'm gonna have to switch my grip up. Theoretically, you could swing an axe like this. One, two, three, right? But it's it's very hard to control an ax like that, for one, obviously. It's horrible form. When you're coming around like this, I'm totally wide open from here down. And if my visor or helmet doesn't have good visibility, by the time I come around like this, I'm losing the track of my target, right? They could be gone and I'd totally miss. <laughs> Theoretically, no one is gonna swing an ax like that. So I redrew this Myers square so that the horizontal cuts are this, right? Because nobody swings a two-handed ax like this. This is not like a bread and butter move. You have armor on, it's heavy, it's slow to get the momentum. However, you know, I've been known to go like up into somebody's armpit like that. But I usually hold it like this and it's a move like that. It's nothing like this. The other thing in armor, it's very restrictive with your movements. You probably, some people can't even get their hands down like that, right? So the Myers square I drew for the two-handed ax will have horizontal cuts. My Myers square for the armored two-handed ax is gonna be great because you're practicing four of the most powerful moves you can do with the two-handed ax, like these would be the ribs or hips, uh, minus maybe the fifth being coming straight down on top of somebody's head, but you are actually, uh, switching your grip a lot. So that's the second thing that's gonna be great, getting practice with that. Uh, third, it's a very compact movement. You can always block. Your ax is never too far from your body, so be able to block an in incoming attack rather quick. And you're training with theory here. This is actually like, goes back generations. So it doesn't look like you learned everything in your backyard doing all kinds of goofy stuff, all right? Speed is not important. Fun is important, and so is trying to keep proper form. Let's start with my Myers square. Ready? So, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, Four. One, two, three, four. Start over. Put your hips into it. Faster. Three. Try not to hit flat. One, two. This is a great workout. Three, four, one. Uh, blue, uh, red. Two, three, four, one. Two, three, four. 
<laughs> that last one, four. Wow, all right, <laughs> that's a good workout. So, uh, you know, you can also use different grips, of course. Like I sort of preluded to earlier, uh, we can try a, an overhand grip with this. Actually, with the overhand grip, you could actually do some uppercuts, more like a traditional Myers square. Ready? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Boom! <laughs> right, right in the face. All right. So I didn't see any kind of axe training with the Myers Square. So I made one. I hope that was a great addition to our community. So if you haven't liked the video already, why haven't you? Please share it with anybody else who likes to use the two-handed axe and armor. Uh, do all kinds of things like this on my channel. If you haven't known already about me, well, that's what I do. So subscribe for more. Any questions or comments, leave them below. We'll catch you in the next video. Thanks, everybody.